Good morning, it's Thursday, August the 7th, and you're watching Agoracom TV. I'm your host, Paul Kondakos. Agoracom TV is a daily, fast-paced, edgy show, bringing you the best press releases at the open, along with the halt, so you can hopefully profit from them and potentially find your next great small cap investment. I've got four great press releases for you this morning, and I have zero halts to report on at this time. However, as always, that can change before the show is out. Without any further ado, let's get down to business. Our top story, ConMed Health Management trades on the OTCBB under the symbol CMHM. The company has announced that they've received a contract to deliver a broad range of medical, dental, and behavioral health services at the Pima County Adult Detention Center over the next 23 months. This is the largest contract in the company's 24-year history. The contract is expected to generate over $19 million in revenue for ConMed during that 23-month period. A little bit about ConMed. They are a provider of correctional health care services since 1984 and currently service detention centers and correctional facilities in 32 counties in six states. Companies last at $2.30 off their 52-week high of $3.75. Moving on, Metalex Ventures and DNR Resources. Metalex trades on the TSX Venture under the symbol MTX and DNR Resources trades on the TSX Venture under the symbol DOR. It's a joint venture press release. They're announcing the final diamond results for 111 reconnaissance surface sample ro uh, rock samples taken on the joint venture properties in the James Bay region of Quebec. The diamonds were recovered from all five of the sampled properties uh, and they were spread over a large geographical area of James Bay which is easily accessible by road. In total there were 106 purple colored diamonds in five samples from two properties. A single surface uh, rock sample from the Ecomiac uh, 5 property weighed uh, 36.6 kilograms, approximately 81 pounds, which contained 94 purple diamonds in addition to the numerous other colored diamonds. Natural, uh, this is just a fast fact for everybody, natural fancy colored diamonds are very rare and expensive with purple as one of the rarest and most desirable colors. So obviously good news coming out of the Metal X and Dianor. The results show that on average 49% of the rock samples from all the sampled properties were diamond bearing, while 82% of the rock samples from the property were diamondiferous. Uh, Metalex has lost at 34 cents off its 52 week high of 55 cents and DNR has lost at 20 off its 52 week high of 72 cents. Moving on, Petrostar Petroleum Corporation trades on the venture under the symbol PEP and for our European friends trades on the Frankfurt under the symbol LMQ. The company is announcing a new discovery well which they've named A5 in the area of southeast Saskatchewan which is currently not being drilled by any other producers. The well encountered 20 plus meters of pay in a sand formation with excellent porosity which is between 15 to 30 percent and good permeability. The company is now preparing its next drill location and will shortly announce the details of that program. Petrostar will test the A5 and upon successful testing will proceed with production over the next few weeks. A little bit about Petrostar, they're a Canadian-based oil and gas producer committed to providing sustainable growth and value to its shareholders through progressive production of heavy and medium oil properties and development, implementation and commercialization of enhanced oil recovery systems and processes. The company's last at 56 cents, off its 52-week high of 58 cents. And finally, we've got Hydrologic Systems, trades on the venture under the symbol HLS and on the pink sheets under the symbol HYSYF. The company is announcing financial results for the three months ended June 30th, 2008. They're reporting record revenues and profitability from their second quarter. Results, uh, the highlights from the results include their best historical quarterly revenues of $2.3 million and the company's first profitable quarter at 131000 in net income. This is obviously always a very important metric. The company looks like they've turned the corner and reported their first quarterly profit, so it'll be interesting to see what they do over the next two quarters. 
In the six months ended June 30th, 08, revenues increased by $484,000, EBITDA, EBITDA improved by $870,000, and net income improved $1.1 million over the same period in 2007. A little bit about Hydrologic Systems. They're an innovator of engineered misting systems and proprietary environmental chemistries in the mosquito and odor control industries. Companies last at six cents, off its 52 week high of 36 cents. And that's a wrap for today. I have no halts to report on this morning. Make sure you tune in again tomorrow. We've got more great press releases and halts at the open for you.